to start off with the Winchester Cavalier, but on that uh, Imperial Torbion, mm -hmm. it's the second edition. Yes. Limited edition, second edition. I hope we get to that a little bit later. All right, what we're gonna do first is set you up with the color choices that are going to be offered. You can do the black, which is the black ionic plated case. There are 50 of those, uh, kind of low quantity if you ask me. Oh, I'm sorry, none of these are running, so I'm gonna go ahead and start winding up watches now, because these are mechanical automatics. Then you've got the rose tone, then you're gonna have the silver tone, and then the gold tone, and last but not least, there is a blue choice, the blue ionic plated case, but it's the most limited. I'm about ready to find out how many I have, but it ain't that many. Yeah, we, we brought about a, 75. We brought a decent quantity of these, but yesterday during the 25 hour uh, fall watch day, uh, in the middle of the day with Allison, we mm -hmm. pretty much uh, did serious damage. You guys wiped out everything. We you did. guys just cleaned up. <laughs> Check this out, V91688. This is the Cavalier in the Winchester line. Now you guys know the Winchester as being that now pretty much the famous decorated skeleton that Sterling does, uh, of the many skeletons they do. Right. This is a newer version. In my opinion, it's a little bit more modern. It's a little bit more aggressively designed. The steel bars that are set into the rubber strap. Now, if you want, you could, you could swap this out and put a leather or alligator or whatnot. I like the look because how often do you see an old world elegant classic that goes into a modern looking, more aggressively designed case? This is also a 40, I want to say it's 44 millimeter, right? It is a 44 millimeter, okay. Jim. You're absolutely correct. And from our parliamentary series in the Lifestyles Collection, our Winchester has become uh, one of the have. top three all-time selling skeleton mechanical automatic timepieces in our entire line. And of course, we have more than 75. But I think of all of them. Jim, when you are, uh, have a drink, fellas. Uh, when you are, uh, listen, when you are wearing a skeletonized mechanical automatic timepiece, uh, you're doing it to show your affection and appreciation of watchmaking. Uh, you want to show your, your love of watchmaking the old fashioned way. And therefore, you want to take a look at the movement, the mechanical automatic movement. And no model in our entire gallery of timepieces uh, shows the movement better than our Winchester because there is no dial whatsoever to obscure any aspect exactly. of you're the not, movement, Jim. You're not covering anything. What you're seeing is simply the beauty and elegance of a mechanical automatic movement. And here's the great thing about an automatic as I reach for my uh, <laughs> my handy dandy pointer here that's all zippered yeah. away. Here's the beauty of getting into a, a skeleton. If you're new to timepieces, this is your opportunity to learn. If you're experienced with timepieces and you can already identify all the parts, then it's just, it's beauty, it's elegance, it's fun, and it's a show-off piece. Starting here, you look underneath what's called the barrel that's been skeletonized in three sections, and you can see that coiled up metal spring. That is your main spring. As I, if I were to wind the watch right now, or if I were wearing it and the rotor were spinning, that, as you see, is tightening up and tightening up and tightening up to the point where it's fully wound. Now that is where the energy is stored. What you're looking at over here is the regulatory process of the movement called the escapement. What you see bobbing back and forth, that rim, okay, that is the balance wheel. In the center is your shock absorbing unit with one of the red ruby jewels. I think this one, 21 joules? Uh, no. no, this is this is our uh, ST90089 gym with 20 joules. 20 joules, my mistake. So yeah. this is one of the 20 joules and the shock protection units on the back side of this. You know, if you bang your watch into a hard object, it'll still keep running, still keep time. Then you have the pallet fork right down here. What well, may be the coolest portion of the entire movement, what you have are two rubies that are not round like this one, they're, they're chisel shaped. And you have the entry and exit pallets and what they're doing is they're grabbing that little gear and they're stopping and starting and stopping and starting, basically pausing the release of the mainspring and that's what's actually regulating it, causing the 60 seconds per minute, 60 minutes per hour, symphony of time on your wrist. And when you put it to your ear, that's what I love about mechanicals, you put it to your ear and listen and you'll hear that tick, 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 tick. That is precisely where that sound is coming from. You're actually hearing the pallet fork banging into the gear. 
Very nicely done, Jim. And of course, it all creates that very smooth sweep of the second hand, as you see right there. Anybody new to watchmaking, I don't want to take it for granted that you understand there's no battery in this watch. So let me tell you, there's no battery in this watch. <laughs> it's being, it's watchmaking the old fashioned way. After off. we show Margaret wearing hers, I'm gonna flip this over and we're gonna show it to you from the backside mm -hmm. because I think the backside is every bit as impressive as, the, as what would normally be the dial side. The absolutely, side. absolutely, Jim. So check this out on a lady's wrist. Blue is screaming out the door. If you want blue, you're not the only one. I would highly suggest call in. Now, the most limited in number I'm hearing now is silver tone, though. So we're actually seeing pretty much they're all selling. Again, you can go black, silver tone, gold tone, rose tone, or the blue. <clears throat> And Jim, this is the 23 karat yellow gold layered that Margaret is showing us right here. And with a 44 millimeter case size, not too overwhelming for a lady no. to wear at all. And because of the way you've built this, it's actually a lightweight watch. It's a yes. lightweight case. It's a, it, they're thin crystals. It's a, it's a rubber strap. Everything about this is going to be comfort and elegance all wrapped into one. And you're wondering to yourself, what's the difference between a mechanical and an automatic? Well. That's what I'm going to show you right over here. If you have a mechanical movement, and by the way, all automatic movements are mechanical movements. What you're getting is the addition of a couple of things. You're getting the addition of a set of winding gears and a rotor. And that is that disc-shaped piece of metal that you see bobbing back and forth as I move the watch back and forth. Now, what happens is when you're wearing the watch, that rotor is going to spin around. As it spins, and it's not like you have to walk around and, and shake your fist at the world all day long. Mm -hmm. The natural, normal swaying of your arm is going to swing that around, and it's going to allow it to wind up the movement for you. So if you always wear the watch, it's never going to stop running. It will be in perpetual motion. If you take this watch off, if it's been fully wound, and again, you can do that by turning the crown. If it's fully wound and you lay it down, it's going to run for approximately 36 to 38 hours mm -hmm. under its own power. And each different movement caliber will have a different autonomy. This one's the 36 to 38. Larry is wearing the silver tone. Looks great, as you could tell, with a suit. I don't care which way you go, but you've got to make your decision now. Silver tone, quantity-wise, is the lowest, but blue is selling the fastest, so it will probably soon overtake the silver tone as far as the quantity goes. The blue is really hot. I will tell you this, if you want the stealthiest, get the black. The black is wicked looking. And if you want that vintage retro feel, the rose tone. Mm -hmm. I think you've got all the bases covered here. We've thrown in for value pay of $24.92. You got a surprise price of $99.68 V91688. Remember, you can order one of several ways. You can pick up the phone. Phone number's on the screen, speak to a live operator, or use automated ordering on that system, or go to shopnbc.com. The benefit to shopping on shopnbc.com, however, is you can see the other things that we're offering that may not actually even be shown on the air. By the way, a lot of you are shopping online right now buying the Imperial Torbion. And again, I mentioned the Torbion may not make it to air. It is a true, genuine, mechanical, true-to-life Torbion. It does have the rotating escapement. It is, it's not a fake little wheel in there. It's a real Torbion. Mm -hmm. And yes, you're buying it for under $800. And yes, there are value pay. It's in blue or silver tone. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Because every time you do, you blink and they're always gone. Now, here is the black version of the Winchester Cavalier. Mm -hmm. What made you guys decide to expand on the Winchester line again? Well, you know, from the very beginning, uh, it's been such a popular piece, and we've done it, and I think this is the fifth model in the series now. And what we've done is we made a little bit of a hybrid uh, because the original Winchester Elite was this style of dial without the carriage with the 1236. Mm -hmm. Now we took that style and put it on a rubber strap. First Winchester on a rubber strap, new rubber strap with the seal inserts too, Jim. All right, we have got to move on. We've got other stuff to get to, baby. Now, let's see what else we've got. V91386, the Manchester Ozzy 2. The watch so great, it's got its own sequel. And this version does have the offset 9 o'clock sub-seconds. The Silver Tone Black is the most limited, but the one that always sells out 
more fiercely is the all black black. There's also, by the way, black blue, black case blue dial, $136.23, three value pay of $45.41. More delicious than a tortilla covered in cheese is today's once only, B90146. It's the Monterey, now there's, a, there's it's the Monterey Sport. Thank you. Yeah, the Monterey Bay is the larger, the 46. This is the Monterey. This is fantastic on a once only. $57. Yeah. $57. Oh, yeah. If you're not buying this, you, you, you don't have a soul. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I just think it's a fantastic deal. By the way, once only means lowest price ever, and the price can never go lower in the future here on Shop NBC. So buying now locks you into the best possible price. Right now, we're going to do something entirely, completely, wildly different. Mm -hmm. And there's no name attached to it. This is the viola. Thank you. The V-I-O-L-A, which is the... Not the voila. No, the it's viola the viola, the, the, big, the, the big sister to our Cesario. Many of you out there are familiar with our Cesario, which is a similar design, but that was a 44. This... I believe it's a 48, if I'm not mistaken, Jim. It is. It's a monster. <laughs> yeah. so it's the big sister of uh, Cesario. It is from Wait, our why do you say sister? Well, because you'd it have to... It is a men's watch, right? No, I understand. But the, okay. you'd have to know, understand, this is from our Bardolatry series. Okay? Oh, boy, here we go. And if you know the Twelfth Night, a play by William Shakespeare, when this has a dodecagonal bezel, Jim, Twelfth Side of Bezel, Cesario and Viola was one and the same person. Ah. It was a case of, like, a dual identity situation one of those comical i just didn't want to confuse everybody because you <laughs> have made an oversized women's watch and i want to no. be very clear oh, no 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 it, when he says big sister he's he's off in his own little world there wait this is a men's watch it's just the to be clear. from our bardolatry series it's okay. hot so you could go with blue or red now what i dig about the blue check this out you've got a blue ionic plated case right then you've got the black ionic plated bezel black crown Black chapter ring for a dial with blue numerals and blued hands, but a black strap with blue stitching and a blue dual deployant push button clasp. Now, it gets a little bit different if you shake things up and go for the red, and here's how. That red is hot. Everything is black, the numerals are red, hands are red, and the strap is red. So they are very much different executions. I'm going to give this one to Margaret because she's already eyeballing this going, oh, that's red. That red is all mine. So I'm going to let you see that. It is a men's size. It is a men's watch. But it is absolutely a, a transgender kind of thing. It's going to run uh, across both genders very easily as long as the more feminine gender prefers an oversized timepiece. Now, whichever way you go. You've got another mechanical automatic skeletonized. Yes. Now, this one is not as intensely decorated as the Winchester was. However, it does have a nice degree of scroll work done throughout the main plates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the fact that your main plates are done in that silver tone finish. Your wheel train, your gear train, your, uh, your escapement done in the gold tone. So you've got some colors coming through. You will also have the red ruby jewels as well. So you've got a lot of play of color no matter which way you go. Wow, look at this on Margaret. You know, Jim, all those Arabic, those fancy Arabic numerals, you know, one, two, three, those are all individually applied to the dial. They are separate pieces. You can see they're not printed there. They're not embossed on the dial. They are separate hand-applied pieces. They are, they are literally, somebody's taking them and individually applying them. So it does take money. By the way, if you're wondering what that big, tall tower behind Margaret is, it has nothing to do with the story of Rapunzel, although I'm sure Larry's going to name a watch based on the story of Rapunzel <laughs> at some point, because they got to be running out of stuff uh, soon. That is available still as a purchase with purchase. You can save 45%. A lot of people ordered this yesterday. A lot more need to order it tonight. Because we're going to take 90 bucks off if you add that to any watch order. Holds 18 watches. Each of the three trays are removable. It will hold even a massive 60 was, oh, what is the arsenal? 63 millimeter watch. We test fit it yesterday. It works. It fits. And it doesn't hit other watches. All right, you got a two-minute warning here, and we're going to move on. Don't forget, if you sign up for today with the Shop NBC credit card, you can get a, a, an instant line of credit and begin shopping right away. Yeah, that blue PVD case, Jim. Uh, just, I just love that electric blue. Do we have it here? 
Oh, you're on. It's on your. I wrist. am wearing the blue suit. Okay, I was wondering what happened. Because I did the uh, I did the blue sport coat tonight. Okay. You like how I dressed up for you, Larry? Yeah, very nice. You like that? Yeah, you got it's the little blue you. stripe. Just for you, man. Okay, we'll go out later. <laughs> I got a corsage for you in the car, okay? $69.50. Oh, dear goodness. V91676. I think it's a great classic look in one fashion and another cutting edge modern design. So it allows you to speak to the old world watchmaking in a modern kind of timepiece. You could wear this dressed up or dressed down. If I were just wearing, you know, blue jeans and a nice shirt, would look fantastic. Dressed up, obviously, you're going to the office, you're doing that kind of thing. That's obviously going to look good as well. Goes both ways. Two value pays, $69.50. If you've never used value pay, it's just this simple. If you have a major credit card of any kind, we'll take that. You'll put $69.50 on there, plus the one-time shipping and handling charge, and boom, we're going to send it out to you. You're going to get a chance to own it, wear it, hold it, caress it, fondle it, love it, squeeze it while you're paying it off. You don't have to wait till it's paid off to get it. So that's what value pay is all about. Very simple, very easy. And don't forget, the more you buy, if you do it on one order, you get what we call add and save shipping. You'll pay the one highest shipping price and everything else will ship for half of its shipping price. I think it's a pretty good deal. Hey, uh, you know, like I said before, we're known for our skeletonized mechanical automatic timepieces, and here's yet another brand new one never seen before right now. We like new. New is fun. Mm -hmm. New is wonderful. All right, if you tune in tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern, these are both the same. Uh, it is, you're going to get a chance to get the five-strand red coral and mother of pearl floral bracelet. That's right. Or you could do it in the necklace. That's right, you could do it in the necklace. We got both. I don't know if we're going to show both. Yeah, there it is. We got both. So you got your choice tomorrow on uh, Gems of the Sea at 9 p.m. Eastern. I can see you wearing that, Larry. You can pull that off. <laughs> oh, yeah. He'd want to put like a little red handkerchief in his upper pocket, though, just to make sure it worked. All right. Here we go. We're going to do a spotlight of our own, not the watch I just pointed at for no apparent reason. Yes, it is. It's the Torbion. Don't get too excited. We're actually going to air it right now. First time ever. All right. I don't know what my quantity is. I do know a lot have sold. Really? Is that it? All right. We've already sold two-thirds of them. So we're going to make this very quick. V91665. <laughs> You're seeing it live. I can't believe it. For $794, you are actually really buying a truly functioning tourbillon. We're going to mm -hmm. tell you why that's important in a second. Four value pay of $198.71. What I want to do is take you on a very quick tour because most of you have never seen this watch live on television because they always sell out pre-show or during a preview. So what you're seeing is absolutely one of the most intricate dials that Sterling has ever made. Multi-level with multiple compressions. You've got your animated AM, PM indicator, a 24-hour indicator, hours, minutes, and then you have your rotating tourbillon cage. I'm oversimplifying, but I'm doing that for a reason because I want you to see it all. You're getting a genuine alligator strap, okay? We come back here to a dual deployant clasp. You look through the case back, exhibition case back to a fully and heavily decorated mechanical movement. Each one is individually numbered limited edition out of, a looks like 125 made of the silver tone. Mm -hmm. I, I believe the same were made of the blue, yes, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 125 of each. Jim. Now I'm going to flip this over and put it on and Larry's going to tell you everything about this watch. Well, first of all, this is our Imperial uh, our Imperial Torbion second edition. I know the name's not on the graphic. Uh, many of you might remember our original we Imperial. Also misspelled Torbion. Our, Go ahead. Uh, our original uh, Imperial Torbion. This is now the second edition where we went with the Arabic numerals. We did make 125 of each. And in uh, watchmaking, uh, the Torbion is uh, of great significance. Many people refer to it as the Holy Grail of watchmaking. Back in the late 1700s, Abraham Louis Breguet was troubled by the fact that. 
uh, mechanical movements were losing time. They weren't uh, keeping exact time to the second. And so he figured it was because of gravity. Of course, at that time, uh, people had pocket watches. Mm -hmm. And uh, because pocket watches were generally held in one position with the crown up or the crown to the side, he believed that it was the force of gravity that was causing a variance. So he figured if I can have the escapement which of course is that part of the watch where the power passes through the, from the mainspring to the drivetrain. If I can have the escapement rotate 360 degrees. Always in motion. Always in motion to counter affect the effects of gravity, then that would give me a tighter uh, tolerance uh, of timekeeping. And he invented it, he patented it. It was invented by Breguet. And of course, uh, ever since then, it has been regarded as uh, you know, one of the greatest complications in watchmaking. It's still the most difficult to achieve and manufacture properly. When you get into high level uh, manufacturing, you've got your tourbillons, your minute repeaters. Those are the most expensive to manufacture and most difficult to do. I'm gonna show you the blue as well. Silvertone obviously uh, is the number one seller. It's the more traditional looking. This is the blue plated version and you'll see that dark midnight blue dial mm -hmm. this may well be one of the single sexiest watches mm -hmm. we've ever seen the main dial itself is black then you have the midnight blue accents on right. top which create this midnight effect throughout the entire dial from a distance you've got white hands it is the easiest to read and most legible and then you look back here at the movement Look at that. It is a blackened, mechanical, decorated movement. A lot of people have been going nuts for the opportunity to finally own these. You're getting your shot right now. We have partial quantity. That means they're going to go very quickly. Very rarely do you get the opportunity to even see a tourbillon. I'll tell you this right now. The reason why you're getting this deal if this were a Swiss-made watch, the least expensive Swiss-made tourbillon right now is a touch over $40,000. Yeah. That is the least expensive that exists in the world. So what Sterling does, they deal with a lot of Asian-built movements, a lot of Chinese-built movements, and they work very closely with George J. Von Berg and their family at their factories. So they are taking these tourbillons and individually, which is why we don't always get them all at one time, they are individually going over them with a fine tooth comb. They are regulating them. They are balancing them. They are disassembling them. They are decorating them. And then they are putting them together for sterling. So you're not buying an off the shelf, like, you know, off the shelf Seagull Torbion movement. It has been completely worked over for reliability so that sterling can warranty it because this still falls under the same warranty as, you know, their quartz watches. So don't forget sterling is standing behind the product so if you're going man i've always wanted a tourbillon that really is the holy grail of watches but i'm afraid to buy one at this kind of price level what do i do sterling is going to stand behind it and by the way jim as we're looking at the uh, the rotating escapement you'll notice there's where you see the, the three blue screws, mm -hmm. you actually have a little arrow on the one that just passed by the top there. That actually also doubles as your small seconds complication. Indeed. And also the complication over at the nine o'clock position is a dual time. You can actually offset that uh, from your regular time and keep track of a secondary time zone. But uh, Jim is so correct when he says that uh, typically tourbillons sell for north of $40,000, uh, particularly the Swiss made tourbillons. But even an Asian movement like this, there are many out there now today, uh, but this is truly one of the finest because this one uh, beats at 28,800 vibrations, which it comes down to uh, eight beats per second. Uh, most of them out there are 21.6. This is 28.8. This is one of the higher regarded calibers. It takes the top craftsmen uh, to be able to make these. We can't get them fast enough. Uh, we didn't be, we weren't even able to, to bring the entire 250 of these two executions uh, because we couldn't get them in in time, all in time. So um, it really is a, an unprecedented thing that we've been doing with Shop NBC for about the last uh, 12 months. All right, blue right now is in the lead. Everybody is kind of jumping all over the blue. It is the most unique. Now, the one that I own, every time I wear mine, I get pummeled with emails and Facebook and everything else. 
I own the Silvertone, and this is an identical watch, except mine has four sets of Roman numerals. Yours has four Arabic numerals. That is the only difference between the watches, period. So if you want the original, and, and I'll tell you the reason why I went for that one, I thought it was the most classic, the most timeless. As much as I love this blue, by the way, the blue wasn't even made yet when I selected mine. That's correct. Clear. But the silver tone, because it is the most classic, it works with everything in your wardrobe, and there's no finishing or plating or anything else. I could pass this down generation to generation to generation, period. That's why I chose that color. Now, about three months after that one came out, then we saw the blue, and then there was also a, a black. And I gotta tell you, I fell in love because I went, look at what a different direction yeah. Sterling is taking this. A lot of companies don't have the guts mm -hmm. to do what you've done, and it's been a smashing success. Very much so. Like I say, uh, w the frenzy that has been created over the last 12 months with the Imperial Tourbillons uh, that we've been making with uh, Shop NBC has been fantastic. And, uh, you know, here, the, uh, the story continues now with the second edition of the Imperial Tourbillon. And it's a good size, too. It looks 45. good on the wrist. It's not too big. If this were like a 48 millimeter, I think it might have been pushing it a little much. The 45 millimeter size is perfect. It's mm -hmm. not too small. It's not too large. It's just right. You'll notice the, the beautiful blued numerals, the blued mm -hmm. hands, and that metallic enamel finish. Yeah. Everything about this is about, even beyond elegance, it's about opulence. By the way, I've got about 30 left of these, and that's it of each. So you do, please, you do need to hurry. Look at that. Now, I will well, tell you this. I don't wear mine unless I'm dressed up. I feel this is a watch yeah. that deserves to be dressed up for. It, 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 you need to realize it's a special occasion to own it and yeah. to wear it. Yeah, you can wear it with T-shirts and a jock strap if you want. I don't care. But in my opinion, I think it needs to be dressed up to fully complement what you're owning because you're not buying an off-the-shelf run-of-the-mill watch. You are now an owner of a true tourbillon. And when you talk to your watch collecting friends, I can guarantee you very few of them own a real true tourbillon in their collection at any price range. Well, excellent point. Uh, for all the watch collectors that are watching the show tonight, uh, what a tremendous opportunity to actually add a genuine tourbillon to your collection for well south of $1,000. I mean, uh, you know, I personally thought we would have been okay at about $1,199 on this, Jim, but we already set the standard. We already <clears throat> yep. set the bar last year. There's no turning back. Uh, so you've got a very comfortable uh, uh, range that you can pick this up and add it to your collection. I now mean, let's even break it down. You've got a genuine hand-stitched alligator strap right. that is easily what we would sell at our discounted prices for about 250 bucks. Yeah. Dual deploy and push That's button. That's from Hadley. Price. You've got one of the most intricate dials that Sterling currently manufactures. You have what is considered to be generally the single most desirable complication in the world of horology. And it's not even just that. You've added two more complications. The offset time zone. You have a true GMT. That's right over here. Mm -hmm. And then you've also got an animated sun and moon AAMP indicator. All of this laid out in the perfect size. The, the, the bevel that's been done here on the bezel, it's very subtle, but it's very elegant. Everything's mirror polished. Simply put, you're buying the best that Sterling manufactures. Yep. It's backed up. Let's talk about your warranty for a sure. moment. Absolutely. Uh, Two-year international warranty. Our service center is in New York. And if anything should go wrong, you'll send it to us there, and we'll stand behind it like we always do. I got to tell you, anybody not buying this right now is making a huge mistake. Do you realize how many emails I get? When is Sterling going to make another Torbion? And you yeah. realize, just for the fact that they're offering a sapphire crystal, which they never, ever, ever do, you've got sapphire crystals front and back, too. You're finally getting an opportunity to own one again. At this point, we are almost completely sold out. Please stay on the line. Do not hang up or you're going to miss out. I'm hearing about a dozen or so silver tone, a few more on the blue. By the way, website at... It's a, a scary way to shop for this item, but for everything else, it'd be great. <laughs> I use the telephone.
from the tourbillon, use the telephone. By the way, look at that tower there. It's not made by, not made by Sterling, it's made by Socorro. It's our brand. And we're gonna give you 45% off if you order it with any watch tonight. There you go. You excited? Very excited, I'm Jim. I'm pretty excited. It's, uh, it's always a pleasure to uh, you know bring a tourbillon on the air. And that was the first time we gave it a full presentation. My producer still got it short because we had to, but at least it made it to air and you heard everything you could possibly ever want to know about it. Now, many of you know that I am a big fan of the Manchester Aussie. V91386 is the newest version of that. And I got to tell you, it, it doesn't take it in an entirely different direction, but it's just a different enough flavor that if you've already got a Manchester Aussie, it's going to make you want to own another one. Now, this is uh, the Manchester Aussie number two. Take a look first at the colors. If you're looking at this radical one right here, that's just called silver tone black. But you've got yellow and green numerals. Mm -hmm. You've got yellow stitching on the black leather strap, which is partially perforated. Yep. Then the next bad boy is black, black, black ionic case black dial. This is my particular choice of the three. And you've got the multicolored exploding numerals as they're going around the dial. And then you've got the one on my wrist, which is the black and blue. Blue dial, black case. So you've got a really cool navy blue dial, very dark blue. It's almost black. At night, it's going to look black. Yeah. So this may be the most fun. At night, it's going to look like you're wearing the black. During the day, you see it's the blue. Yeah. But Larry, this watch is all about the comfort is absolutely uh, this is uh, without a doubt uh, our most comfortable case that we make in our entire gallery of timepieces uh, the curvature of the case is just perfect it's a 41 by 41 millimeter square but it's curved with a curved case back uh, curved top side curved Cristerna crystal on the top you've got the step design on the case uh, this black now, PVD is gives it a very liquidy look as well what does uh, Cristerna crystal mean for those that may be new to Sterling? Well, it's, in, a, in a word, it's, it's like tempered glass, Jim. It's a proprietary crystal to Sterling Original. We were involved in the development of it more than five years ago. Uh, we used to use exclusively sapphire crystals back in those days, but uh, this actually has more shatter resistance, more strength over a spread surface area than sapphire. It has more scratch resistance than a mineral crystal, so you really do get the best of both, both worlds in a word you're not gonna break it. $136.23. Now that is broken up across three individual value payments. You can use any major credit card that you already own. No need to sign up for an additional line of credit. I'm actually going to, to, to put this one down. I'm gonna put on the black black and I'm gonna give the silver tone black to Margaret. We're gonna have all kinds of fun here. It's like a okay. big old party. Larry, would you like to put on the black blue? Sure. Just have some fun. Just Absolutely. So you feel like you're joining in. Well, listen, I, you know, I wear a bunch of these. I, I have orange, I have the navy, the original one. Uh, but this is the same case, the same comfort. And once again, we are talking about a mechanical automatic timepiece. So this surprise price that yeah, we're offering this here. This isn't a quartz for 136 I know, bucks. I know, I know, it's hot. You've got the date at the three. You've got the sub-seconds indication at the nine. I mean. In a true decorated automatic. Now, I'm small. telling you, that you wear this, you're the man of the hour. You walk in that room, everybody's gonna be looking at you. Yeah, and you know, the new touch with the small seconds is a nice touch as well over there at the uh, nine o'clock position. Uh, that's the big difference here. The original Manchester Ozzy, you know, had your three hands with the quick set day, quick set date. This has got the small seconds with your date aperture at the three o'clock position. Now, we've sold more than 500 of these so far here on Shop NBC, and they're going to continue on selling. If you want to grab it, you got to do it now, V91386. You've got a minute and 15 seconds remaining. I would suggest you use them wisely. Larry, if you had mm -hmm. to pick only one color, mm -hmm. and I know where you're going to go with this. Oh, by the way, I got to stop. I have to sure. shut myself up. Look at that. Five out of five star rating yeah. as the average. Do you realize how nearly impossible that is? It really is. All it takes is one guy to wreck it. You know? One guy could have <laughs> just screwed the whole thing I up. I know. And I always hate that when you see four and a half and you go four and a half. And then you look and there's one guy. One guy that didn't get it. That's yeah. okay. Not everybody can love everything. I know. But that's what makes this so unique. Yeah. People love this so much. It's a five out of five star rating. Now, I, now people have asked me. Okay, Jim, I'm, you're, you're, you're telling me you love Sterling so much. It's one of your personal top favorite brands. 
If I were to buy only one, what would you suggest? I always, always tell them, if you're going to buy for yourself or give to someone else their first sterling and you want to make a huge splash, this is the watch. The comfort level, the unique shape, and the beautiful dial work, all with an automatic movement for a price everyone can afford. I do still believe, even to this day, it is the best offering that Sterling has in their arsenal. Good call. Right. Good call. By the way, we're going to give you a quantity update here. As soon as the computer does. V91665. We have a dozen in silver tone and about 15 in blue. That is it, and they will be gone. When they're gone, folks, I, I don't know when we're gonna see the remainder of the quantities. Wait, oh, yeah, wait, don't, those don't. quantities are done. Yeah. Well, no, we, we have some more, but I, we're not sure they're gonna be here either, though, too, Jim, uh -huh. to be honest with oh. you, because, you know, again, um, <laughs> this is not a, an exact science, Jim, with these tourbillons. <laughs> Would you guys to buckle in? And get ready, because we're going to do a once only right now. <clears throat> All right, here we go. V90146. You're waiting for the lowest, craziest price of the night. Well, here it is. But it's only good for the next hour and 22 minutes. Then it will be ripped away from you, stolen from you, taken away. It's 57 bucks. It's three value pay of 1924. And I gotta tell you, it is one of the coolest watches that Sterling makes for a daily run around, doing everything kind of watch. Yeah. I wanna give you all the color choices first so that you understand how you're ordering because even I'm confused. I'm gonna start here. That one's self-explanatory, that's yellow. Mm -hmm. Yellow black, apparently we had to clarify it because <laughs> there's another yellow? No, but it's yellow black. Then we have black orange, black dial, silver tone, they all have silver tone cases, orange accents. Then we've got, I would have called this silver tone, silver tone, and that is precisely what we've done. Yeah. So you've got silver tone, silver tone there. We just got really extraordinarily hot in here all of a sudden for no apparent reason. Yeah. And then we have black, black. <laughs> And one more, it's coming, Silver Tone Blue. Now, if you buy Silver Tone Blue, it is the only one that does not have a black rubber strap. They all have black rubber straps. This one has a blue rubber strap. Yeah, this is your so, blue jeans piece right here, This Jim. is the blue jeans everyday wear watch. Larry, give us the whole breakdown of this well, this bad boy. Well, you know, Jim, this is from our Concorso series in our Sportsman's Collection, one of our more popular series in our entire gallery. We have about a dozen models in the series now, starting with mechanical automatics and everything else. But this one with the Swiss Quartz, it's an auto race inspired look with that Arabic 12 and 6 with those bullet indices that are applied to the dial going all the way around. Uh, this is inspired by a high-end Swiss brand and Many companies are doing their particular spin, and we've done ours, and uh, it's very popular for us. But this allows you to get into the series mm -hmm. uh, very inexpensively. This is a great everyday timepiece, and we don't always say that about a lot of Sterlings, like the Imperial Tourbillon, yeah. for example. You have to dress uh, which you have for to, that. You have to dress up. But this is blue jeans, uh, a T-shirt, a polo shirt. You can wear this to the office. Uh, can I wear this with a loincloth? <laughs> Well, Jim, you know what? Uh, I know you have several of those, and here you can get colors to match all of them. You don't have a cheetah print, though, like I do. Well, we're working on it, but uh, I love the blue, okay, because of the blue jeans. You know I like to wear blue jeans, Jim. Many times when we go out, you see me wearing blue jeans, but also the orange and black, the I'm yellow. I'm just thankful he's wearing pants. But if you notice uh, on the dial, now this is our 44 and a half millimeter case. This is the original size case that we made on this. It's a nice presence on a guy's wrist, but that serpentine pattern that you see, like a tire tread pattern going down the rubber strap, you also see it cutting straight up and down on the dial as well. B90146. We're going to go into some madness here, and we are going to, uh, here, I'm going to pass one of these off to Margaret in a moment. I'm going to put on the blue just because I happen to have it handy, and uh, I don't want to just tear anything off off of a stand because I, be, uh, I could be scolded for that. I'm going to go to the phones as well. 
All these things all at one time. I am, I am very I'm multifaceted. I'm all right, very let's capable. do it. We're going to talk to Mike in New Jersey. How are you doing tonight, Mike? Hey, guys. Great. How are you doing tonight? Hello, Mike. Thanks for calling in. What brings you to our show tonight? Yeah, uh, I really uh, just wanted to say I bought that Monterey about three years ago. Um, I could bring out my paperwork. Maybe even four years ago, I just bought another blue one and a yellow one. So my girlfriend's going to get the old blue Monterey. I'm going to get the new one, or maybe vice versa. Right. Great so, product. Great so product. you liked it so much, you just bought more. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> I had to get two more. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. That means you were satisfied with the product. You've had it three or four years, and you loved it so much. I mean, obviously, I mean, the price, you, you just cannot pass it, by a price like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, the price is about half of what I paid originally. So mm -hmm. um, this was a great deal. I couldn't pass it up. Indeed. What What is it, Mike, that brings you back to Sterling over and over? Well, they're skeleton, too. They're, uh, they're automatics. I love the automatics. Really um, nice nice product with the automatics. Um, can't beat it. I have the, I believe it's the Tuskegee. Sure. Um, that's a great watch. A um, couple of the other, uh, I can't even remember the names of, you know, I got quite a few uh, to go through them, but just a well done product. Really enjoy them. Fantastic, Mike. Uh, yeah, love to have you, you know, on board Sterling Nation. Thanks for coming back here for the uh, for the uh, Monterey, and that's a great testimony, Jim, to Indeed. someone yeah, who actually excellent, owns excellent. this watch. I, I forgot one quick question, Larry. What was the warranty? Um, I, I missed your warranty. What is usually the warranties on the um, the watches? Yeah, two years, Mike. Uh, you know, two our years, service okay. center is not too far from me. We're right over there in Brooklyn. New York, right across okay. the river from you. So uh, just send it to us, and if there's any problem, then we'll take care of it. Excellent. Again, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Cool Keep deal, up Mike. Great work. Much love to you, Mike. Thank you so much for calling in and sharing your time with us. Thank you. All right, folks, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I am very biased on this watch. I actually, uh, I want to go back, I want to guess about wow. almost four years. I bought the original watch that this was modeled after, yes. and we had sold it here one day only. It was a $7,000 watch. We offered it, I believe, for like $3,600, $3,700 in this. It was the black dial, and what I loved about it was the all-mirror polish and that rich black dial. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. That's the most limited as well. The black, the silver tone black, is going to go quickly because it's the one that most closely emulates the most popular choice of that original this was uh, inspired from. Now, while this is different, there are many points of uh, differentiation between the two. Obviously, there has to be uh, for legal reasons. That's right. You've got a very close inspiration. I'm going to tell you right now. As somebody who has paid that kind of money for the original, right. while it's a fantastic watch and you cannot compare the two, if I walked out of the house wearing this out in public and any passerby sees me pumping gas or uh, paying for my groceries or whatever else, they would have no clue if it was a $7,000 watch or a $57 watch. You get the pride of ownership of getting a great solid belt sterling with their warranty and their manufacturing quality and everything else, but you also get the look of what others may possibly assume is much more expensive. Now, I'm never going to tell you to buy a watch to impress anybody else. You buy what you like, forget what anybody else says, but it is nice to get that validation of your own decision. Absolutely. When you go out and somebody compliments you on your watch, it makes you feel good about actually buying it. Oh, no question, and, and that's why it really has become one of our most popular series. Uh, we have, I think, 11 or 12 models. I've lost count uh, in the Concorso series. And uh, the Monterey has been definitely uh, one of our more popular because of the price right. point, Jim. Black, black sold out. Done. And here's Swords that. on blue uh, the most popular now because I'm wearing it. And, you know, I love, the, I am, I I love this, sexy uh, this, if this I lemon so yellow myself. dial here, too, Jim. You know, there's there a lot of guys out there that just like to collect yellow dials. I mean, I think this is hot. Larry's never looked hotter. <laughs> so you've got the yellow black, silver tone, silver tone, silver tone blue, and I believe Margaret still has uh, black orange. 
Now, I'm surprised that's not your favorite, Larry, the black orange. Well, you know, maybe, uh, I'll tell you what, if it would have been an orange dial, like this yellow dial with the black accent, I probably would love it because orange is my favorite color. But the fact that it's only a little bit of orange, I actually prefer the yellow, I prefer the you know blue, what? and I even like Green. the silver and the black. Green is my favorite color, and you're saving a lot of that if you buy this while it's on once only. Free yeah. value pay of $19.24. The price has never been lower. The price can never go lower. But the price is also limited to this show. By the way, only. we did make a green version in the Monterey Bay, which, but, but not here in the Monterey. And it was By not way, at this price, though. We're almost completely sold out. There's, I believe, single digits on either of either of these. You grab it, grab it, run to the phone, get on there, buy it. Seven ninety four eighty four for a value pay of one ninety eight for a real mechanical tourbillon. Yeah. Right now, Larry and I, my shirt's just popping open all over the place. I'm, <laughs> woo! I, I had planned to wear a tie tonight, but you know, I came into the studio oh, and ties, you, no. were going, you were ties going, you were going kind of open neck, open collar. I thought ties you know, are a way for the man to hold you down. Don't you know this? <laughs> I won't wear a tie. For those of you who've been watching me for the past six, by, by the way, do you realize next month I'll be going into my seventh year here? How, it just it, time just flies. Yeah, well, it's about another month or two. I begin the beginning of my seventh year. How cool is that? I know. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. All right. But that's you took Sterling. a hiatus. I didn't. So. Not from Sterling, I didn't. Not from Sterling. No, 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 no. Not at all. Yeah. All right. Here's the deal, folks. Uh, you're not going to get through on the phone lines. Between the Torbion and that utterly ridiculous $57 the deal we just did. The Monterey, yeah. It's going to be tough for you to get this, but I want you to focus. Please focus. Focus, children. Black, silver tone, there are 20 remaining. The rose tone, there are only five. Good, good job, Larry. Um, oh, was that in the shot? Oh, sorry, Not after guys. you took it out of it. Uh, there, my bad, guys. There are sorry. five bad. remaining on that. And then my particular favorite has always been and always will be. By the way, the rose is the one that Larry personally wears, so if you want to be like Larry mm -hmm. and... Well, who doesn't? You want to get the rose. I like the silver tone because you get the beautiful blued hands, the blued numerals, and there are only 24 of these. So they were very limited in quantity. First thing I want to point out to you is it is at only $152 a true mechanical automatic, V90915. You've got three value payments of $50.95. You get a day and date automatic. You get a beautifully, beautifully detailed dial. I mean, this is this screams back to the origins yeah. of Sterling. What or, what Sterling is really about? The multiple pressings for each dial. You know what, Larry? We haven't told the story for a long time. Sure. Tell us the dial story. Well, these dials are done with hydraulic uh, vintage German machines that were actually moved from Switzerland to our factory, Jim, and. Um, uh, each dial is actually pressed, struck uh, more than 30 times. Uh, the dials are actually made from brass and then they're coated, but they have to be a soft enough material to absorb yes. the hydraulic guilloche. And it's done by true artisans that actually operate those machines. And if you take a look at the guilloche soleil pattern in the center here, it's one pattern. Then when you get outside that minute and seconds track, you see a different uh, pattern going around the perimeter, kind of a swirled sunray pattern. And by the way, all of those uh, Arabic numerals that you see fanned around the dial, those Hand are placed. individually applied yeah. to the dial with little pegs that go through the dial. And I would sealed. like, if we could, to go to the telephones. We're going to talk to Francis from Wisconsin. How are you tonight, Francis? Hi, Jim. Hello. Thank you Can so you much. Can you hear me? Thank yeah, you. We, I, hear you. we got you. Thank you for calling in. Yeah, you know, I'm one of your lady viewers, and I never miss your shows. Oh, it's thank like you. It's taking a course and watches. You learn so much. Well, I'm glad that we're teaching you something. Hopefully, we're entertaining you as well. Well, yes, everything is really great. And, you know, I do want to tell Larry that I spoke with him last fall about sending me some info and some watches, and, he, and I got them a few days later. Oh, well, thank you, Francis, for bringing that up. Um, I, I thought that I, was great. Larry is a and man I'll of follow tell you, I get more compliments on those watches. I just can't tell you how many. Fantastic. What watches of ours do you have? I just, well, I've just started collecting, and I've got about 20 of them. Wow. 
And wow. I just got the turbion. Oh, you, oh, you, you are so lucky. That's a prized possession. You are going to love that. I think I will. I know I will because they're much more beautiful in person than they are on the television. You know, you're absolutely right, Francis. When when folks, when you get this at home, Francis is absolutely correct. It Every one of these watches look great on television, but they pop so much more in real three dimension. When you get this at home, you're going to wonder how you got it for the price you paid. Francis, yeah, we really. appreciate you and so you know, much. Uh, I don't know what you do with that skeleton business, but it's certainly <laughs> Some of the best I've seen. <laughs> Thank They're really you so much. Beautiful watches. Thank you so much for calling in. Much love to you, Francis. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. We appreciate you so much. Have a great night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. you know, it's great. You can hear the excitement yeah. in her voice. Absolutely. This is not, and I, I don't want people to think that this is just a guy hobby. This is just a guy thing. There are hardcore, serious female collectors out there. We do our best to cater to them, as always. But they share the same passion. It's not just about, well, make me a pretty watch. Make me a watch with gemstones on it. They, she bought a tourbillon. Yeah. She bought it because it had one of the most rare movements and difficult to make movements there is. Absolutely. So thank you, Francis. It's because of ladies like you, we get to keep doing what we love to do. Now, right now... And I'll offer you something massive. V91668. The original Emperor was a uh, little 40 millimeter timepiece. Very elegant, very pretty. Uh, again, one of those watches that, in my opinion, you had to dress specifically to be able to wear. Mm -hmm. Now, this one, much bigger, mm -hmm. much bolder, and also, in my humble opinion, I think that just because of the size, it opens you up to more wearability. Now, it is a perfect dress-up piece. Obviously, it looks great with a suit, but it takes it out from being that, uh, well, I'm wearing my tuxedo tonight. It's the only watch I've got to wear it with it. This can be worn on many more occasions. Now, it's funny I say that because what you've done, Larry, is you've actually added more elegance to it mm -hmm. by putting the triple bridges. Now, I don't want to see. I don't want to call it a dial, folks, because there is no actual dial here. If you want to call anything a dial, it's going to be this plate running around the outer edge. Mm -hmm. What you're seeing are the plates directly bolted to the decorated movement itself. Mm -hmm. This is a masterful work of art. It really is, you know, it's a it's a marriage between our Exposition Universelle and our Emperor Grandeur. This is the 49 millimeter case design uh, of our Emperor design where you have a po the old pocket watch strapped to the wrist uh, styling where you have the crown and bow up at the 12 o'clock position. And then we, which is already kind of a museum style. And then we took that Exposition Universelle with the triple bridge design and we married it to the uh, you know the the emperor design so you really have a, a super uh, artistic uh, museum style of piece for the wrist uh, this is a as I would think I know you said it's got more versatility in the larger size I'm not going to disagree with that at all Jim but to me this is a dress up piece uh, this how is, it seems to be floating in there absolutely it's being held by a by a carriage in place there you've got the crystals on the front and back and it appears to be floating right in the middle but you know Jim the triple bridge design is truly a landmark design in the watch industry it dates back to 1889 at the old Exposition Universelle, which was in Paris, France, and it was done by a very high-end Swiss brand, which is still in business today, Jim. And um, they, on their award-winning design, uh, they had put the triple bridge on the backside mm -hmm. of a pocket watch. Yep. And how fitting now with our Emperor, which is kind of a throwback to the old days of a pocket watch strapped to the wrist, to now put it on the front side. It's our interpretation. Uh, this is spectacular. And I want to thank you, Jim, for taking some nice pictures. I sent you, uh, yes, I sent you the, the, the rose tone version. and. You took some nice pictures of it, and uh, I don't know if they're loaded here or not. I don't think we did. They, I, I kept those really just for you and for your newsletter. By okay. the way, if you guys don't already do this, go to Facebook and hit up Sterling Originals' Facebook page. It'll also lead you to their blog. Every time they're gearing up for new models and new shows, they always put it up on their Facebook and talk about it in their blog. 
And notice how the name Sterling is spelled. That's always on the screen. It's, a, it's an odd spelling. So yeah. make sure you search for it the proper way. Subscribe to their page. Also subscribe to mine while you still can. I'm getting ready to hit that limit, I think, in the next 48 hours where I can't accept any more friends. We'll see. So do that, and a lot of times you'll, you know, Larry will send me a watch, I'll photograph it, and they'll use it on their page, and you'll get a chance to see these watches maybe weeks before they even come out and become available, and you can prepare yourselves, you can get the money put aside, you can get ready for the color choice you're going to want to get, so that you're not having to choose quickly in the heat of the moment. Like with something like this, the, the tourbillons that generally sell out before they even air. It's because people knew about them, they knew the color they wanted, bam, the second they unlocked, they're ready to buy them, and, and they went very, very quickly. So with this watch here, you're seeing it today during this visit for the very first time. And now it's a monster 49 millimeter. That just counts the crown. It does not count the uh, the protrusions the from that the 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 buckle or the, uh, the the stirrup as I like to call it does not count in the T-bar lug extension that's just the round case from 10 to 4 so Beautiful. it is a very big watch look at that yeah but boy is it make an impression yeah then, oh, did you notice folks cabochons set into each of the crowns yeah custom uh, design on the uh, strap integration to the bow up there uh, also, the open heart on the uh, night, the uh, nine o'clock uh, position over there, where you see the balance wheel. We didn't even show the uh, movement. I'm sorry from the back. Uh, here's the deal. We got to go already. Are we? <laughs> Lucky us. Five value pay of twenty nine dollars and seventy one cents, and I think I may have a sellout to announce here. I think they're gone. Are they gone? There are three or four. Looks like of the silver tone. Oh, there's one or two of the blue as well. So, there you go. Single, low single digits on either. How? I don't even know. But they're going to go. They're going to go, baby. V91665. I'm not worried. By the way, I'm just going to make the correction here. Torbion is spelled L-O-N, not L-I-O-N. Or that would be Torbillion. Uh, another fun, that would be a fun word to use, Torbillion. Uh, V90146, the Monterey Sport on the rubber strap, this is tearing up the phone lines. Like, we literally have operators laying on the ground panting. You're killing them, folks. Yeah. It's only $57. Those are the four choices of the five that remain. The orange black, the yellow black, the silver tone, silver tone, and silver tone blue. All come with black straps except for the silver tone blue. Comes on blue rubber. It's three value pay of 1924. Offer ends at the end of next hour. And, or of this hour, actually, because we're, we're kind of starting the hour early. Oh, my goodness. Uh, V90051. How do you do it, Larry? How? The Winchester Elite Skeleton at $154. What? This has a really nice bracelet. It's a jewelry-style bracelet, Jim. What was up with the crazy music, man? That was, that was like, it was crazy. Insanity. You saw the pictures on the internet. No, not those pictures. I was much younger in those pictures. These pictures that I was able to take, <laughs> yeah, that I was able to take for Sterling of this watch, everybody seems to just feel this is their ultimate sport watch. And you know what? How cool is this? Is we're going into winter. Did you post this? I, I, I did not. You did. Felix oh, did. Okay, on your page. okay. No, that um, I knew. I wasn't sure is uh, we're going into snowboarding season and skiing season, and uh, you're going to be out there tonight. on the slopes. You're going to do yeah. that. Now, it, we're, we're kind of up in the air as to whether it's black, ionic plated, or gunmetal. It's gunmetal. I think it's just a really, really dark gunmetal. Yeah. Black dial, but what a brave choice in the white rubber. Yeah, I know you could change the strap if you don't like it, but I love the white rubber. I do, too. It's 168 bucks Now... The Alpine Sport is a different watch than the original Alpine. And I've got to stress this. In every way, it's a bigger watch. 52. No longer 44. It's a 52 millimeter behemoth. Mm -hmm. Oh, this, yeah, this is just, it's killer. Well, I wore mine tonight, Jim. Because you are the man. No, I love it. And it's a new rubber, you know, we made a new mold for this rubber strap. It's a. Uh, it, it's not too heavy. It's a. You know, very. It's a soft rubber strap that, that conforms to your wrist. It it's is really nice. It's more of a silicone-based rubber, so it's softer. I love the new ridges. More aggressive design. Yeah. Uh, the sterling labeling going down. 
Very generous strap, by the way. Fit yes. up to a 10 inch wrist easily. Should fit down uh, pretty well into about a seven and a quarter inch wrist. Swiss made chronograph. If I'm not mistaken, let me just double check. No, no, Citizen. Well, that's right. Yep. No, this OS is. OS 20. Yeah, this Stop, is. Stop, reset. Right. So there's uh, the 24 hour indication that is actually an AM PM indicator. So mm -hmm. you've got the OS 20 inside. Oh my goodness. Look. And there's your bubble. And you notice the nice uh, curvature, the slope of the lugs that just wrap the wrist. And as Jim is pointing out, there is that, that domed crystal. Big bulbous style crown, the scalloped edges that we've all come to recognize with our Alpine. All right, folks, $84.12. I'm going to give this one right on over to Margaret because I really want the ladies to pay attention. I love it to how that's going to wear. That's going to be comfortable. It's going to be easy to wear, mainly due to the rubber strap on this. It's a soft rubber strap. It's pliable. It's comfortable. It's easy to wear. Yes, I know it's a 52 millimeter case. Yes, I know it's a big watch. And being black makes it appear to be even larger. But to get into this level of comfort, this level of sportiness, and in a color combination like this, in black and white, for $84 a month, I'm going to tell you right now, very few companies will take the step and do the white strap. While, of course, yes, if, if for some reason you have an aversion to white, oh, I'm so scared of white, I don't know why. You could put any color strap on there you want. But the way it ships is the way I'd leave it. I love it. And you know, Jim, the black and white look uh, you know, with the name the Alpine, it does conjure images of the Swiss Alps. And the black and white, I've always identified as being an Italian look. So you get the feeling of near that Milano border down there between Switzerland and Italy. The black so and white gives it that. So if we could find an Italian boy that would dress up in lederhosen. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. That would be the, the perfect combination for you. I'm just telling you, this has Swiss a very... Swiss Alps, lederhosen. Come this, on, this has, folks. This has that uh, Italian on. feel to it. That's what I love about this this black and white. And that's why... Who knows about the lederhosen? I had to get it. Now, having said that, black and white, <laughs> as you pointed out, it's really more of a really dark gunmetal. It's not a real, you know, jet black. Oh my goodness. So by the way, if you happen to approach Margaret at the grocery store, uh, if you're wearing lederhosen, you have a better chance. Just, I'm just, just putting it out there. Women love the lederhosen. All right, V91667. Wow, there's a mental image I'll never get out of my head. Uh, let's talk to Tom in Texas and see what's going on in the uh, wonderful state of Texas. How are you, Tom? I'm just doing great. How are you and Larry doing tonight? Hello, Tom. Doing Wonderful, great. thanks. You happen, to, you happen to own any Lederhosen? Well, I don't, but I, I do own an Apocalypse Revelation, and that's why I was calling. I'm trying to find out how many is in the edition of the Turbolons tonight. Well, 125 of the Silver Tone, 125 of the Midnight Blue. However, we were not able to bring all 125 of each tonight. Uh, we're still, uh, you know, getting them in, and uh, we, you know, we, it just takes so long to get these movements. Oh, I understand, but it sure is nice when you're able to get one of them. Yeah, well, you have the, uh, the revelation is that big 52 millimeter uh, kind of sport edition of the Torbion, but it is the same movement. Okay, that's what I was wondering. That, that was my next question. I was going to ask you that. Uh, one other thing that I was curious about, mm -hmm. uh, not this time, but another time when you were here, you had a reprint of the... Uh, watch book and it had the millennia yep. yeah and i was wondering how you get a reprint of that well, uh, you know, what you can do, if we can arrange to get Tom's email address or give him my email address, if you send me an email, you know, maybe I can uh, find one laying around the office there, Tom. Okay, great. I know what you're talking great, about. You're great. talking about uh, the reprint of our section of uh, Watches International, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I may have an extra one laying around I can send to you. I thought that was real nice to uh, have that about the millennia. Since I have a millennia, I thought it'd be a nice thing to go with it. Absolutely, absolutely. So can you see to it, Jim, that uh, you're uh, I have nothing to do with that. That would be my producer, Tom. As a matter of fact, Tom from Texas, we're going to put you on hold. My producer, Tom, is going to get your info, and we're going to make that happen. We're going to make that connection for you. So Tom is gone right now. Tom's getting his info. And... Uh,
Yeah, I think you should send him like an autographed picture while you're. Well, we don't need to go that far, but you, you see, sir, are a you, star. But you see what happens when they put you on the spot. I mean, I'll give him the pink slip to my car. You know, I whatever. So by the way, next car in the car. <laughs> That's for Larry's car. By the way, I've written in Larry's car. You probably don't want it. No, I'm totally oh, come on kidding. Now. I'm totally kidding. Come on, Jim. I'm not a truck guy. I know you're a truck dude. I'm, I'm a, a truck, truck guy. Dude. I like it. I have an expedition. If and you I... have to step up into a vehicle, that's just not for me. I like to step up. But you do feel more powerful, especially on the New York roads. You're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> roads off the roads, side of the roads, yeah. in the ditches. Oh, look! To right. Trying to get me to now. We just missed a look at the Prospero because you we're, we're going to show it live. Okay, trust but, me. But look what we have. We restocked a, a few pieces here. Do we have? Do, wait, do we have the orange? Yes, but not get not out. too many. Not too many. All right. This is my next Sterling, by the way. It is. It is. If we ever have any left, it is the the Admiral Massive. It's a 52 millimeter. It's a monster. The orange bezel or the green bezel are available, and that is that Duracoche. Yes. Duracoche finish. 200 meters. Okay. All right. The Heritage Grand. You and I have talked about this watch a lot as being one of the most elegant watches yeah. that Sterling Original currently manufactures. I want to very clearly state to you one thing. This price is redonkulous. It's 35% off our regular price. You've got the value payment options. I, I just tell you, whether you like silver tone or, uh, sorry, uh, rose tone or gold tone, just act on it now. Grab your favorite because it's a very rare occasion. I can only think of about four models that Sterling has done with mother of pearl, black mother of pearl dials. This is one of them. It's incredible. Now, this is another classic look from Sterling. It's, yeah. it's been around for a while. Yeah. You guys haven't really changed it or altered it all that much. You're looking at, watch this, at a Sterling original. Well, very much so. Uh, this is uh, from our Heritage fun. Series in our classic collection. Uh, now, this is the Grand, which is the 44 millimeter version. The original Heritage was a 42. And, you know, it certainly uh, was difficult enough getting the mother of pearl dials to fit into the 42 millimeter case, even more so in this larger size, the 44. And uh, just everything about it just reeks of class, Jim. Uh, you've got that angled flange. Now, here's a nice shot of the case back as well, the exhibition case back. You can see the decorations on this movement. Uh, where you've got the Cote Genève striping on the pillar plates with the perlage treatment on the back plates, Damier finish on the rotor. You see the decoration on the exhibition case back with the notches going around the perimeter, telling you that it is a threaded case back. And then over on the, uh, on the front, you know, one of the things I think that's elegant about this timepiece is the small seconds. I love having small seconds on a dress piece, Jim, over at the 9 o'clock position. Uh, and then, of course, the very elegant leaf-style hands with the luminous uh, fill. You've got the uh, kind of fancy Arabic numerals that are applied to the dial. And then those semi-spherical luminous dots every five minutes. That's actually uh, kind of a big deal because you put big loom dots on there. They will absorb a good amount of light. Absolutely. That angled flange, so elegant, so classy, very narrow, very slim <laughs> bezel. So it plays even larger than... The 44 that it is, Jim. It does, and, and you will think when you open the box that Larry and I are both crazy. You're going to go, well, that's a 46 millimeter watch. It will look and feel like that, but that's because you have a very minimal bezel. It's all dial and all crystal from edge to edge, so it looks larger than it really is. So you look at it on my wrist going, that looks like a 46, but no, it really is a 44, shockingly enough. Yeah. Now, this is another good example of, of being the natural material, mother of pearl. No yep. two dials are alike. You just saw there was a lot of blue in the other version, in the rose tone. On this dial, you're seeing a lot of purple, a lot of green, some yellow, a little bit of red. Every one will be different. They will display different characteristics of the Orient, which is that, uh, that shimmering color that comes through the natural mm -hmm. mother of pearl. It's $108.59 on a clearance price. And I really hope that doesn't mean we're not going to carry these anymore because this is, this is one that I always, I always beg. Every time I make my trips to New York, I always tell you guys, bring more. I love this watch. Bring more. And, yeah. and they're always nice enough to do so. So I, I get worried when I see the word clearance. Well, and check this out on Margaret. See, how, see what you think, ladies. What do you think? I think we're due for a new version of our heritage, actually. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But here's that 16-karat uh, rose gold version on Margaret. 
16 karat uh, rose gold layering on the 316L stainless steel case. And don't forget, we are talking about a mechanical automatic. I know we did show the exhibition case back where you can see right through into the movement. But uh, sometimes you have to remind yourself when you see the price. You know what else I want to remind you of? That this network sells things besides watches every now and then. Okay. Coming up tomorrow at 11 p.m. Eastern, you'll get a shot at 24 karat gold. Now, that's not often we do 24 karat gold. 24 mm -hmm. karat gold satin rose bracelet back in stock after it sold out in June. More have just arrived in time for the Moon Festival. And you're going to get five value pays. It's a rosy deal all the way around, baby. Going to act on it fast, though. 24 karat gold doesn't last. You know what else doesn't last? Torbion. We're going to go to that right now. Final quantity. V91665. You can't. Uh, yeah, thank you. Relay that. Uh, so we have what? We have two in silver tone. And there are a few more in the blue. So if you want the silver tone, silver tone is pretty much almost gone at this point. Blue, you might get lucky. You might, you might nail the blue. V91665. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to focus really more on the blue. If you want the silver tone, you're welcome to call in. You're welcome to try. Frankly, I'll be honest with you, I cannot believe we have any of these left. Every time Larry and I have ever come out here, and, and it's only, I, I am the only one that's ever been here with Larry to bring the Torbion, so I can speak from experience. Mm -hmm. We've never gotten past preview on them, ever. One time, I think we brought it out, it lasts like 20, 30 seconds, and we just showed it and it was gone. That was it, done. So, to see this last through a full presentation, blows my mind. Larry, tell us what it is that we're looking at exactly. Well, this is a nice view through the sapphire crystal on the exhibition case back of the finishing uh, of this tourbillon. You see that kind of big gear up there in the center. Uh, it's a safe bet that is going to be the bottom of your barrel, Jim, just on the other side. Yep. Uh, I would believe that would be your main spring. There's your barrel, there's your click. Right. This does carry 40 hours of power reserve. It is a pure mechanical, so when it's fully wound, uh, it will carry 40 hours of power reserve. However, I always recommend just wind it till you feel a little resistance and then stop. I wouldn't keep going and going, although a lot of guys like to, you know, see how far they can push Don't it. Don't do that. Once yeah. you feel tension on the crown, stop winding, and that Correct. goes for any mechanical of any manufacturer of any price point, period. Yeah, I think it's abs absolutely a beautiful, uh, you know, uh, look at that movement, uh, the back of the movement there. This again is our Imperial Torbion second edition. This execution that we're looking at here, the Midnight Blue, which is absolutely exquisite, is limited to 125 units. Uh, we, were we weren't able to bring all 125 here tonight, but we brought as many as we could. I guess we're down to the last two or three. And the Silver Tone is also limited to 125. And here's a nice look at the genuine Torbion uh, movement where you can see the escapement making a full 360 degree revolution every 60 seconds. So it does act as your small seconds indication. Just take a look at the pallet fork on that miniature regulator wheel that's releasing. We're so used to seeing that uh, on these uh, oh, mechanical gone. on the mechanical automatics that we see in one place. Here it's actually rotating and while it's rotating it must maintain contact with the drive train. Uh, this is what is so ingenious about it. And uh, whether or not it counter affects the gravity today of a wristwatch as opposed to the old days of a pocket watch is really neither here nor there. It's more about the panache of owning uh, a genuine tourbillon. It's a collector's thing. Even if you never wear it, just for the opportunity to add a tourbillon into your it's, collection. It's I wear the heck out of mine. I, I have know the original do. silver tone, which by the way, this silver tone has now officially sold out completely. I, I gotta tell you, I'm having a hard time not buying this one. And I'll tell you why. Here's one I'd wear with, I, I know this is gonna sound crazy, I would wear this one dressed down. I would wear this with blue jeans. I would yeah. wear this with a nice pair of pants and a nice like polo shirt or something. I feel with my silver tone, I gotta be wearing a suit. I gotta be really dressed up. This one I feel would actually get worn even more. And I wear the living heck out of my, my, my silver tone. 
pretty much every time Larry comes here and there's a Sterling show, you'll almost always see me wearing my Torbjorn. I decided not to tonight, but I, I'm almost always wearing that because I just can't help it. When, when I go, oh, so there's a Sterling show, and I look through my box that holds all my Sterlings, my eye just goes right there, and I got to wear it. And I'll wear a suit just because I'm wearing that watch. Folks, here's one in this beautiful, rich blue ionic plating that takes on a whole different yeah. look. I want to put this and on And you Margaret. notice the uh, deployant clasp is also layered to yeah. match Same blue. Uh, in this electric blue uh, of the case. I have a hard time. You know, I have a hard time not being just justifying not owning both of these or, or many multiples. Here's the deal: they're numbered to 125 being made for the world period. We have single digits in the blue. The silver tone's gone. Now Larry brought in a. They're not bringing the full 125 of each. We don't know. As of yet, if Shop NBC is going to get the rest, they have other retail well, outlets that. I'll be honest with you, and this was partially my doing, forcing and begging and pleading with Larry and yeah. with the owner of Sterling. They gave us the full quantities of every other version of this watch, all the previous generations. They weren't supposed to. We were supposed to get something like 25% of them. We got all of them. So this time around, I cannot promise we're going to get any more of them. I, I hope we do. Well, you know, here, here's the thing, too, Jim. Uh, we had a caller just a few minutes ago who said he had our Apocalypse Revelation the Torbjorn. The sport version, yes. Right, which actually is the same movement as this one. This is the 93311. Same exact movement as in the Revelation, the 28,800 vibrations. But, you know, if you stop and look on that one, that was a limited edition of 500, but we only made 200. We, we still have 300 more to make in the Apocalypse Revelation. It's the same movement, but we've taken those movements as we're getting them as fast as we can get them, which, by the way, our good friend Wing grabbed a bunch. Of, it's, Wing has the same movement, okay? Yes, he does. It's yeah. the exact, because yeah. this is the best tourbillon movement you out there in Asia. He has his balance one way, he has his balance a different right. way, but, but it's the same base Right, calendar. but my point is we didn't, complete the revelation yet we still have 300 openings in the revelation mm -hmm. we took those and we made more on the imperial second edition so we're doing them as fast as we can get the movements but you can't just uh you know you can't just poop these things out jim <laughs> apparently not <laughs> well you know what i Contrary mean come on popular belief are we on tv i forgot about that but you know what i'm saying jim they, these don't just grow on trees They're, how's that does that work better yeah. for you <laughs> it's a little more digestible. Ha okay. ha, Jimmy made a pun. All right. No, but here's so, <laughs> a beautiful look on the nice tourbillon movement. Thank you, guys. We were giving you a ridiculously tight shot because I want you to understand what you're buying. This is the regulatory process of your movement. This is what creates accuracy in any mechanical movement. Abraham Louis Breguet believed that Inaccuracy was caused by the effects of gravity pulling down on one side or the other of the escapement. If the watch was laying on one side versus the other, that was what was creating the irregularities and the inaccuracies of a, of a mechanical watch. So he said, and I'm not quoting here or anything, but he said, if we can keep it in constant motion, it's never at rest, Gravity can never affect it in one direction or the other. It should create an equal balance. Now, let's be honest here. Nobody has either proven nor disproven that theory. Nobody has taken the exact same caliber movements with and without tourbillons. You can't do it because every movement is going to have their own eccentricities to, to begin with. You are buying it, though, because it is the grand complication, the one that everybody wants, the one that everyone aspires to. If you talk to a hardcore watch guy and say, if you could only have one type of movement, what would it be? He would tell you a tourbillon because it's the most desirable. And I, we might, we're going to sell out in just a couple of seconds on that. We'll be telling you about that in a minute. Right now, Larry, tell us about this. Well, we're seeing on the screen here our Monterey Sport, Jim, and this is a once only. And... Uh, uh, I gotta believe these have these have got to be getting close. I know we came in loaded for bear here, but this is a tremendous opportunity that is actually expiring in about another 40 minutes. 
And the Brumalia is back. V90503. This is the classic pocket watch skeleton mechanical movement in a modern sterling wristwatch. Mm -hmm. Period. It has one of the most beautiful cases. It has a double row coin edge bezel. Mm -hmm. Now tonight we've put it on six value pay at a surprise price of 169. You only have to choose silver tone or gold tone. Make that choice now. Right now, we're gonna go into a watch that I have fallen head over yeah. heels in love with. I like the silver tone blue and I love the brown. Those two just sing to me in a way that very few watches do. The black is great also. The 91605, why do I love this watch? It's not just because of the price, 116 bucks, killer deal. Four value pays that we've added to it for about a dollar a day, interest-free, killer deal. But what I see in this watch is a fantastic juxtaposition of style. You start in the center with that beautiful mechanical movement, very old world vintage classic. You start moving outward to the dial and you're going into both vintage and modern, set into a modern case with all high polishing. This looks like the instrument panel on a vintage airplane. Like, you know, there's so much to love about this. I call it, it, it borders on almost being steampunk in the way that it looks. Yeah. That's not quite there, but it's, it's bordering on that. Now here's that velvety smooth brown. A lot of people have become attracted to that in particular. I'm gonna kinda just let that rest right there and not bounce the table and get a good look at it. Now as I move it ever so slightly, you'll notice the color shift throughout the dial from lighter to darker in that brown. Now the black is a classic black. You'll notice also they have these wonderful partially perforated straps as we go down there. And I'll show you the case back in a moment as well. But for me, I want you to see what's on my wrist. The silver tone blue. And then you're going to realize the size of this watch. Larry, how big is this watch? This is a 48 millimeter size case design. It's got a beautiful triple step design uh, on the case around the bezel. And uh, this is our Prospero from our Bardolatry series in the classic collection. And what really is a breakthrough oh. uh, with this, of course, we're known for our skeletonized mechanical automatic timepieces, but this is a new caliber for us. We actually showed this at first at the JCK just a few months ago, and we just broke the piece uh, about a month ago. But this is our 9001, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going by memory on the caliber number. But uh, it's the first time we've used this movement. Here's a nice view of the case back. It has a beautiful view on the front shot. And like you say, Jim, it looks uh, like a big steam engine or something, the way it's been configured on the dial. But it just looks different. We've got different uh, you know, size on the pieces, different uh, cutaways on the uh, movement itself. And also the movement is offset. In, yes. I don't know if people have realized this. Now you're going, now that's what was different. I didn't catch it before. The movement is offset to one side. It's not centered in the dial. And it's not just a trick played with how they've laid out the numerals and hour markers on the right. dial. It really is offset closer to the three position, further from the nine. Yeah. And Larry is actually holding up uh, the all black version to show you the movement. And yeah. you'll see again. It's move, it's offset. By the way, sold out on tourbillons. They're gone. Congratulations to everybody who got our Imperial Tourbillon second edition. Now that's actually a good time to bring this up. I look at this and uh, hand on heart, if you think I'm lying, I'm dying. If you looked at the tourbillon and went, I just can't justify or just can't afford that price, this is my number two choice for you. I believe you will be incredibly impressed when you get this watch. I don't normally gush about watches. I get to see and play with a lot of watches. Some impress me, some don't. I, you know, that's just the way it is. But some over impress me. And the thing is with this watch, I can't point at just one thing and say that's the reason why. I think it's the, it's, it's everything put together. There's so many wonderful things. And the fact that you're buying into a brand new caliber of movement too, that's also kind well, of Well, that's very exciting to me. Uh, I'm, you know, 99% sure that uh, we will see this movement again, this 9001, uh, which is exciting because we've been looking at our 90089 for so many years and also our 90050, which are, you know, we still continue to use those. They run like a top. Uh, but now here's a new caliber 
And uh, this one's exciting. You could tell it has more parts to it. It's got more decoration to it. It's got a higher degree of skeletonization to it. Uh, this is an exciting piece uh, for that reason, if nothing else. Now, here's a watch that really does truly do it all. If you put this on with a suit, looks terrific. Here we go. You put this on with a pair of jeans and, a, and just a regular old shirt, it's going to look fantastic. Now, I would reserve that more for the silver tone blue, to be honest with you. I believe the brown dresses it up a little bit, especially with the brown strap. But the brown is a bit dressier. And the silver tone black is pretty dressy as well. There's a lot to love here. And I want every one of you to own this watch. And I love the fact that we have such an attractive price and extensive value pays on this. That means more people can afford it. More people have greater access to it. From me to you, I want you to own this watch. I'm getting just beaten over the head here because the next watch, I, I, I'm every bit as excited about This is about. the hotness. This is the hotness. Okay, now, Jim. There are a few watches that get me this excited. You just saw one, the Prospero. The Admiral is one of the others. But for different reasons. This is a very sporty watch. Now, I'm going to show you one that's going to be sold out by the time I slap it on my wrist. The orange, it... Really? We got, oh, goody, goody, goody. We restocked, Jim. We got I a mean, good stock of the orange. Yeah. We might make it for more than a couple of minutes this time. This watch in orange has actually never aired. It always sells out in the preview. Now, it's big. It's 52 millimeters. It is a big watch. Is it 53? Yeah. All right, I'm off by a millimeter. It's 53 millimeters. <laughs> so silly. I'll, I'll get you later. Okay. Dump that drink in your lap. All right. So coach. what you're going to get here is a very deep dish dial. That's like a Chicago pizza right there. Very, very deep dish right there. Highly textured dial. Now, I don't want to get in so tight just yet because I want you to see something else. The way this rubber strap has been molded, yeah. very three-dimensional. Very comfortable, by the way, but substantial. Mm -hmm. This is a big, angular, blocky watch, but it happens to maintain more of a round look than anything else. Th there isn't a single bad thing about this watch. Everything about it rocks hard. Yeah, I agree, Jim. And, you know, this is new Sterling for 2010, 200-meter water-resistant uh, Ronda StarTech 5030D, 6 joules, 12 hour counter, add and split functionality. Take a look at that, you know, nautical compass style small seconds indication at the 3 o'clock position. Love that uh, small seconds indicator right there. Gives it that nautical feel. And also, just the way that the hour markers have been uh, applied here, they're on uh, kind of like uh, mirror like platforms uh, that really just refract light. The way See? that they glisten in the light here and this orange is a kind of like a texas orange kind of like a not that real you know circusy orange uh here i just love this orange the duracoach finish you've even got that uh matching pusher uh the top pusher with the uh duracoach orange as well now we need to explain this because it's very important P people look at this going there are only certain colors that you can plate steel period Th what you're getting here aluminum bezel, aluminum accents that are anodized in a very specific process. It's, that's the best way I can describe it to you. If you look at, uh, a lot of you guys are out there, they're, they're car guys or, or uh, racing boats or motorcycles or whatnot. You know, like fittings for, for uh, you know, braided hoses or for nitrous lines or whatever. You see them in blue and in red and all these fancy colors. It's because they're anodized. They're not coated. They're anodized. So it's actually bonded with the aluminum. That's what you're getting here. Until about two years ago, nobody could do these things. Nobody did these colors. I had actually approached two of our vendors here about five years ago. And I wanted to do a, a series of watches based on race cars and stuff. And I wanted to do blues and reds. And they said it can't be done because you can't plate in those colors. You can't plate stainless steel in those colors. Nobody had thought about anodizing or creating parts in aluminum and then anodizing. What you're getting here is a very specified finish, very similar. It isn't exactly the same. Very similar to the anodizing of aluminum. So you're able to bring out these vibrant colors. The coolest thing about that is... When light hits one particular area, the color will blaze. And then it will soften to the other areas where the light isn't directly hitting it. 
so it creates this effect, almost like a summary finished dial, mm -hmm. where there, there's, this, there's this powerful saturation of color in one area, and it goes in and out. Now, my producer Tom is digging on the green. I think the green is great, but the orange? You know, Jim, I just like to say for, for, for all the Sterling collectors out there uh, that you know have come to follow our shows and come to know me a little bit, uh, you know what I like to say, Jim? Listen to the right voices, and you'll make the right choices. And uh, I'm here to tell you, give this one a try. If you don't like it, send it back. Uh, this is new Sterling for 2010. Truly one of our <clears throat> finest makes we've ever made. And I want you to have this piece and try it out. Uh, it will blow your mind. It will. It is one of those watches that when you open the box, you're going to go, whoa. Yeah. Go, yow, yow. You're, you're going to be a loss for words. You're just going to be grunting at some point and, and making sounds. When you get this watch, I want you to realize you do have to cut the strap to size it, but it's very simple to do. Follow the instructions, you'll be fine. If you don't feel competent to do so, go to a jeweler, pay him the $8 or whatever, and have him size it to your wrist, him or her. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, you know, appear sexist in any way. The, uh, the watch is awesome, in a word, $56.70. One of my particular choices uh, in the Sterling line. Here's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go back and revisit an offer that's going to expire in now less than a half hour, the once only. You want it. You've got to act on it now. You've got less than a half hour to go. V90146, the Monterey Sport. Oh, yeah, baby. Now, the choices that are remaining... Black orange, yellow black, silver tone, silver tone, or silver tone blue. Very self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. What I'll tell you is this. I'll, I'll, I'll revisit the story I told earlier, but I'll do it as quickly as I can. About three years ago, we here at Shop NBC had the opportunity to do some really high-end shows. And we had brought in the original watch that this model was based off of. Let's just say that. Mm -hmm. By the way, this black shouldn't be here. The it's black's gone? Out. Okay. And it was a $7,000 watch. We sold it for somewhere, I think, $3,600, $3,700, something like that. I love that watch. I bought it immediately. And just a true treasure in the collection. But if I were to go out wearing this watch instead of that watch, do you realize most people would never know the difference? Now, I'm not saying you're trying to pass one off on anybody else, that you're trying to make anything up. This is a sterling through and through. There are many design differences. From 20 feet away, it's going to look like the same watch. You're pumping gas, somebody's going to look at your watch and go, eh, all right, that dude's wearing yada, yada, yada. Now, you might be driving a 76 Pinto with rust all over the, the quarter panels, but they might believe it's the real thing. I don't know. But the point of the matter is, does it matter what anybody else thinks? When you put this on, you are going to feel like you're wearing a watch that should be a very expensive timepiece. No, I'm not telling you this is a $3,000 or $7,000 watch. Not even close. It's a standard three-hand quartz. Very simple, very easy. But what's great about this is it's a daily wearable watch that will have an incredible, impressive look. Three value pay of $19.24, bring it home. Now let me explain what once only really means. It means it will be the low, it is the lowest price that item has ever aired for. And then it is the lowest price it will ever air for. We will never go lower in the future. But it's also limited. In 25 minutes from right this second, yep. the deal is entirely off the table. The price shoots up, which is 42% up higher. The value pays go away, and you'll be left to do nothing but cry. Well, you know, uh, we're not that far away uh, from Christmas. And when you see a once only, uh, these once onlys are usually great opportunities uh, to pick up extra pieces, you know, whether you, you get, get two, keep one for yourself and decide who gets the other one. That way you decide which color you like best. 
or they're great gift opportunities. I mean, this do not let the price fool you. This is not a fifty-seven dollar timepiece. You have a, <laughs> no. You, you have you have a case that is blank from a solid bar of steel. For this price point, you would expect it would be a cast case or a base metal case. That's not what you have here. You have a Swiss quartz movement. You have a Cristerna crystal, genuine you know silicone rubber strap on this piece as well. The fit and finish, I think, is what. Uh, you know, in many ways will fool you. It doesn't have the fit and finish of a $57 timepiece. Uh, this is a great opportunity here. And like I say, you listen to the right voices, you'll make the right choices. Bring it home. If it's not everything that you think it is or that I say it is, then just, you know, you have Shop NBC's, you know, money back guarantee or return policy and you can get it back. But uh, it is surprising. And uh, if you've never owned a Sterling <coughs> Original, uh, this would be about the easiest way you can actually put your toe in the water and see what we're talking about because many times you see uh, products uh, on home shopping television and the camera can make it look really great and you get it home and it's not what you think but with the watches uh, particularly uh, here on shop NBC uh, with the brands that are being carried here on shop NBC not just sterling but across the board uh, generally speaking you are just so uh, blown away by the quality and sterling original fits right into that category uh, you will be pleasantly surprised when you get this home at this price I'm gonna put this out there I love how this watch feels as is I love this silicone-based rubber strap. It's a very soft strap. If you were to take one of the more classic colors, like the silver tone, silver tone Larry just took out of the shop. Right. I waited till he cut tone away. Blue, or the silver I tone waited. Blue, and you put, and here's, I would actually use ostrich. You put an ostrich strap on there or a lizard strap or any kind of exotic strap, I can give you a guarantee that this will look like it's worth twice as much as it looked like when you first got it. I love the rubber strap, and it is a sporty design, and let me be very, very clear on this. The, orig the original watch this was based off of is, is all about car racing. Yeah. That's what it was based off of. Yep. So the tire tread pattern very much fits this. That is precisely why yep. it is made the way that it is. What I'm telling you is, let's say a, a year from now, it's no longer your favorite watch. You've worn it every single day, and you're like, okay, it's time for something different. Slap on an ostrich or a lizard, maybe an alligator. Try something different. I guarantee you, you're going to look at this in an entirely different light, and you're going to fall in love with it all over again. We talked to someone uh, earlier who has owned one of these for three or four years. I suggest doing the same thing. He actually has the blue, if I remember he correctly. He called in about two more. He bought two more. Here's what I would do with that old blue. Go to our, uh, go to our website at shopnbc.com. We sell exotic straps. Or there are plenty of places on the internet. I would put on that like a blue shark or a blue ostrich. And you'll fall in love with that watch all over again. That's what I like about this watch. It gives you that flexibility. And it wouldn't be the same if it was a brush case. This is an yeah, all-mirror polished case, so it can look really sporty. It looks like a shiny car gauge or something. But you put it on an exotic strap or a dressier strap, and it will instantly play dressy. That's what I like about this, the flexibility that this watch allows you. Now let's talk about the comfort. It's a lightweight watch. It's easy to wear. This is a grab-it-and-go watch. You ever had you those know, days, Larry, where you're, oh, yeah. you're in a rush, you're Definitely. on your way out the door, Yeah. you look at your watches and go, oh, man, I don't have time to go through this and figure out what's going to look best. Yeah. You need a watch that you can grab, wow. run out the door, wow. and be thankful and go, wow, at 3 o'clock, look at it and go, dang, this looks good on me. Jim, what a great call by you because you're so right. Uh, this is something you would grab. Yep. You're running out to go grab get the car go. wash. You're running out to the store. I mean, uh, you're late I, really, for work. everybody that can hear my voice, everybody that's watching the show right now, uh, you, d listen to me. Grab the blue and grab this silver. Get these two. You can wear them with anything. Now, the black and orange may not appeal to everybody. The yellow may be a little too loud for you. great for Halloween. Okay, for Halloween or the Orioles or the Giants or the Bengals, whatever your team is. But to me, this silver tone, silver tone goes with everything. And that blue is your blue jeans piece. Get both of these uh, as fast as you can while they last. 
And if you don't like them, send them back. But trust me on this, don't miss this opportunity because as Jim just said, when you're looking at your watches, it's kind of like, you know, a woman with her shoes. She says, I have nothing to wear, and she's got a thousand <laughs> shoes. Yeah. Jim, I've been with you in your apartment when you go down to your man cave, and yeah. you've got a wall full of watches, and you say, I don't know what I to wear. I call it an apartment. It's a townhouse. Well, your townhouse, whatever apartment. it is. In New York, we call it an I'm apartment. I'm living, well, you're from New York. Everything's an apartment. That's there. correct. But, you know, you've got a thousand watches on your I wall. I stopped by Jim's studio. Yeah. He had a pull-out and, bag. <laughs> and listen, and Jim's looking at his watches, and he's going, what am I going to wear? I don't know what to wear today. Should I wear this? But this is the kind of piece, as you just pointed out, that if you're just running yeah. out to get a burger or to go to the store, whatever it happens to be, you're going to take this and you're going to slap this on. I would indeed. By the way, at this point, with the amount of people on the phone lines, uh, you better get real familiar with our website. Get to know it real well. ShopNBC.com. Already a couple. Oh, wait, wait. Go back up for a second. Go back up. Did we sell out of the Alpine? No, it just says new item. Okay. The Alpine's still there. Yeah, so if you click on it, it allows you to buy it. That's how it works around here. You click on things, it, you gain access. The Alpine Sport, yeah. It's a cool watch. That's the way I would shop if I were you because the eh, phone lines are really jacked up. Here's the deal. In 19 minutes, this deal is history. It's done. It's gone. So what does that tell you? It means buy now. Don't wait. Don't delay. Don't procrastinate. Don't wait to ask permission. Yep. I'm so not about asking permission. Not at all. I take what I want. Did they scare you? Mm -hmm. She jumped just a little bit. V90503. Say, no, don't hurt me. That's actually, how, that's her real voice, by the way. That's exactly how she talks. All right. Uh, the, the Brumalia Mechanical. <laughs> Better be careful. She brings me my drinks. <laughs> There's something <laughs> floating in my water next time. I guarantee you. All right, $169.62. This really has become a favorite for, well, pretty much everybody. This has now become the classic mechanical by Sterling. It has become a signature piece for us, Jim, for our boardroom collection. It's from our Labyrinthian series. Mm. Oh, please do explain. You can't well, leave us dangling with that. No, the signature characteristic of our Labyrinthian series is the double mill, double step design bezel, okay? Which you like to call the double coin edge bezel. But like our, our Saturnalia has it, our Saturnalia DT has it, our Century City has it, our Century Plaza has it, our original Saturn. They all have the double mill, double step design bezel, which is the signature of the Labyrinthian series, Jim. And now it's in our boardroom collection. is the only pure mechanicals uh, that's remaining. The other mechanical was the Torbion. So it's yes. not an automatic. There is no rotor. You will have to physically turn that crown to wind the watch. Now, you're watching me winding up the mainspring right now through the skeletonized barrel. What's going to happen is it's going to reach a point where it's not going to let me turn the crown anymore. I'm going to then stop. Mm -hmm. This watch will then run for between 40 and 42 hours under that wind. Yeah. So about every other day, if you want to keep it wound all the time, that's what you need to do. Now, obviously, you're a collector, you have more than one watch, you're probably not going to wear this every day, so you don't need to keep a mechanical wound. Now, I want you to be very clear on this. You don't have to put that much maintenance into it. All you want to do to maintain the health of any mechanical or automatic movement is give it a full wind, a minimum of one time per month. That's it. And a lot of you buy some watches uh, for a certain reason. You may store them in a safe. Uh, it may be in a safety deposit box. You may have that half million dollar watch, whatever, that you got at some auction, and some crazy deal, and you don't ever want to touch it. Just go visit it and wind it up one time per month, and that just keeps everything lubricated, keeps everything from breaking down, and reduces the required service intervals. That's all. Now, if you are going to wear this every day, let's say it's the only watch that you own, you will have to manually wind it every day. Now, here's the thing. If you bought any watch before the 1960s, that's the only way watches were made, period. Mm -hmm. Once the 60s came around, I mean, and I always skip this, but yes, the electric watch was made and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. When, once the 60s came around, then you had the bumper automatics. That went into the automatic movements. That way, when you're wearing it, it winds it up by itself. Then the 70s brought us the quartz movements, and that 
became the battery powered watches. This is the purest form of watch manufacturing right there on your screen. If you've ever wanted to own a vintage pocket watch, that's precisely what this movement has been modeled yes, after. That's correct. You see, it's got a slightly oversized balance wheel. I love that larger balance wheel. Slightly oversized mainspring. And this one's rather loose. It needs winding. See, you can see all the gaps. There's the balance wheel. Right. Okay. We go up here. Here's the center wheel. That's what drives your hour hand. Right up here is your mainspring. And you see how loose it is? We could actually wind that up. And windy, as we wind windy, it, windy. you can actually see it tighten up as we wind it. You know, which is kind of a nice thing about owning a skeleton. But one of the things that I love about this particular timepiece, Jim, is I just love the small second subdial with the beautiful arching bridge over there at the nine o'clock position. And this is the 23 karat yellow gold layering. And this is such a great uh, surprise price for so long. This piece was at that shop NBC price of 298. And guys would say, when is that gonna come down? When is it gonna come down? Not only do you have it down here tonight, but you've got the extra payment options, Jim. But you've got to act on it now, folks. Uh, Larry has a few shows tomorrow, then he's gone, he's out of here. And when Larry leaves, he takes with him all of the great deals. So I want you to act on this while you can. Now, you're actually going to be back here in a couple of hours, actually, right. mm -hmm. in about two hours, to bring us some more Sterling deals. Then you're right. back in the morning, I believe. Yes, right? with Katina at, uh, I believe it's 8, 8 a.m. Central, or 8 a.m. Uh, yeah, 8 a.m. Central, so that would be so 9 a.m. Eastern. That's right. So the Sterling fun has not ended. In about 13 minutes, this show will end. But there is so much more to be aware of. So much more fun on the way. So much more fun coming. Now, I want you to prepare yourselves. Get ready. Are you ready for this? It's in your head. You know something special is coming. <laughs> I promise. It's on the way, and it's very special. You know what it is? It's <laughs> Melissa Miner. She's very special. You're like, wait for it. Wait for it. I had to build it. you up. You like that? <laughs> Thank you. I like that. Hi, Larry. Hi, Melissa. All right, everybody. It's a brand new day in about 13 minutes, and guess who is back? The boy is back in town, Dimitri James. That's right, Skin Cosmetics, today's top value. You know, he's the founder and CEO of Skin, and he was a Hollywood makeup artist, esthetician, cosmetologist for 25 years, worked for some of the biggest names. Well, he has a four-piece I Love Beauty skincare set with a bonus. And all of this is coming up for under $50. Nine pieces, $5.50 per piece, you are getting Crease Release Eye Serum, Instafil for the eyes, the Energy Eyes Anti-Fatigue Firming Mask, also your Lux Premier Eyeshadow, girls you'll love that, but the bonus, your Color Fall Collection, your Cleopatra Black, your Egyptian Clay, your Moonlit and Plum Dandy, and also your Bright Eyes. It's all about the eyes this fall. Jim and Larry, did you know that? That it's all about the eyes? Come on, boys. As, as I was itching yes. my own not. eye, not realizing the camera was back on us. Uh, so stay tuned. Melissa's going to teach you all about that. Yeah. Sure. Uh, it's always a surprise when that red light comes on, isn't it? <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We've got only a few more items left to go, and we really saved one of the best for last. This is my host pick. Misa love this watch. V90051. Now, this is the Winchester skeleton on a bracelet. It is the Winchester Elite. Very nicely done. I got to tell you, if you're not into big oversized watches, if you want something classic, elegant, and it's going to make a statement, but you don't want to blow a lot of money, this may well be the perfect offer for you. Everything is mirror polished. Everything is shiny. Everything is high end looking. And everything is see through. Right. Once again, with the Winchester, uh, Jim, no dial whatsoever to obscure any aspect of that movement whatsoever. And this gives you a good glimpse into, you know, where the Winchester Cavalier came from. We took, you know, the styling of the Winchester Elite and put it on a rubber strap. It doesn't have the same, you know, flange on the inside. We did something a little bit different with the Cavalier. But unlike the Winchester and Winchester Grand that had the carriage with the 12, 3, 6, and 9 with the spokes, this one has just got the floating movement but you see all the detailed scroll work 
on the top plates of the movement. And that's really what a skeleton is all about. And when you combine it with this jewelry style bracelet, uh, it, it, it's like a bracelet with a mechanical automatic timepiece attached to it. Um, it yeah, it is. It's a timepiece and it's a piece of jewelry all rolled up into one. Yeah. It, now, it, I, I want to make sure Margaret gets a chance to wear this because, Larry, yes. this is not a monster watch, is it? No, it's, a, I believe, 42. Yep. 42 uh, millimeter, yeah. dead on. So it's right there at being a great he, she deal. If you're a guy and you're, you know, if you're a big, you know, six foot five, 300 pound guy, this is going to feel kind of tiny on you. But it's a good size for a guy as an elegant watch. Yeah, as a bracelet watch. Now, for watch. ladies, this is going to be cool because it's not oversized, but it's not undersized. It yeah. re it's it's going to get a little more attention than a ladies' sized watch, but it's not going to be oversized. Yeah. This uh, is cool. A great bracelet timepiece. And, you know, the way that the flange has been uh, styled with those... Uh, kind of serrated edges on the inside, and then every one fifth, every five minutes, kind of like a block as your marker. Uh, so, I mean, just great styling uh, to carry around a, mecha a skeletonized mechanical automatic timepiece on a bracelet. This is our ST90089 movement. Very steady, very reliable. We've perfected this movement now for about six years. Uh, you've got a slightly domed Cristerna crystal as well. As you pointed out, Jim, mirror polish all the way around. The, the, the bezel, the case sides, the case back, the bracelet, the lugs, every aspect. And you know what else? Six value payments. Why is that a big deal? Listen, folks, we're in a day and age where we're not giving value pay on everything. That's just the way it is. When you see four value pay, you should be jumping up and down. You see five, you're running to the phone. When you see six, it's like a modern day miracle. Grab anything, obviously you have to be interested in it. If you're interested, you look at it and go, hey, I gotta dig that. And you look down, you see six value pay, you know it's not gonna get much better than that. It makes it more affordable. Smaller monthly payments. Think about it this way. Every married guy in the house is gonna, is gonna agree with me on this. What would you rather do in the morning when she first wakes up? Would you rather tell her, honey, Jim and Larry sold me on a watch last night. I spent $155. Now that's option A. Option B, honey, Jim and Larry sold me this really great watch last night. I only had to pay $25 for it when I ordered it. Now, which one do you think is going to be met with a greater response at 8 o'clock in the morning when that's the first thing that she hears as she's getting ready for work? I would much rather go with option B. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not the kind that cowers. I mean, literally, I've, I've dropped my wife off. Uh, she'll take like a little trip Wait. to go see her family in one car. I'll buy a new car and pick her up in it. And this is not a, this is not. This is we not know a you're story. the king of your castle, Jim. I, I buy stuff and get a lot of trouble. <laughs> I get I'm used to getting yelled at. I've learned how to manage it. But you know what? The best thing to do is reduce the amount of times you have to deal with that. So if you use value pay, it makes it a little bit easier. Now here's the other, the, the flip side of this. Yeah, women are not evil, they're not trying, they're not out to get you. <laughs> it's just, this is their way of getting at us sometimes. We do the same thing to them. Yeah. Let's say you're single. You, you, everybody's on a budget of some sort. I don't care if you're, if you're a billionaire, yeah. there's a dollar level that you're gonna spend on whatever it is that you're looking at. Let's say this is your watch hobby, and you're gonna say spend $500 a month. That's the most you can spend on your hobby. Are you going to buy one watch a month? Or would you rather buy five watches a month by using smaller payments? So it's up to you how you want to collect. I'm not going to tell you how to collect. I'm just going to give you the options, if I'm able to, to make it more easy to afford more. And there it is. $25 a month puts this on the wrist. Can I see what that feels like, Jim? Sure. I know what it feels like, but, you know, I... I, I actually dig this piece. This, and of course, we have a nice sterling logo on the. On you have the a push single button. fold deploy clasp with dual pushers. Yeah, this is like a, just wearing a bracelet, and oh, by the way, there's a watch on it. This is the kind of bracelet watch you may not want to do it really tight. I mean, I know you don't like them when they're hanging loose bracelet watches. I, I know you hate that, Jim. But on this kind of a bracelet, I might leave a little, just a little play in there. You know, I've gotten to the point now. I put a little bit more. Uh, a little more space in there. 
I don't, I don't, I don't, I have never worn a watch tight, but I, I do like it to feel snug. I don't want to move it around. I don't like it flopping around on my wrist because I feel it looks sloppy. It makes the watch look cheap. You, you could be wearing a Sky Moon Torbion, and if it's flopping around on your wrist, it's going to look like a $30 uh, thing that you bought at, the, at, a, at a grocery store. So you do want to fit it properly. Larry's not telling you to wear it like a bangle bracelet. No. You, know, you, ever, you ever watch uh, like the, the kids, the young kids that run around, they got their cool watch, and it's just it's yeah. flopping all around? Yeah. Go get the darn thing size. <laughs> I know you only paid $13 for the watch out of the bubble gum machine as it is. You go size it at least. Make it, because you got it with all the sparkly stuff, so somebody thinks that you're wearing diamonds. At least size it where it looks like it might be a more expensive watch, for goodness sake. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's my rant for the day. That's going to that's get me mugged at Mall of America next week, probably. V90051. There's your shot from the rear, skeletonized mechanical automatic movement. This, this movement, by the way, will run for about 36 to 38 hours under its own power once fully yeah. wound. $150. Solid end leg integration as well. Six value pay of $25.72. Thirty seconds left. Well, Jim, another uh, show in the books. Huh? That's right. Another two hours down, my friend, and two monumentous hours. Great, awesome, and I want to thank you guys for being here and joining us. Absolutely. I know it's late on the East Coast, but I hope it was worth the wait. That's all I'm saying. Congratulations to everybody who got the Torbion tonight. Yeah, we you saw have a lot. No of, idea. We, we saw a lot of nice uh, new pieces here tonight, and, you know, including the. Uh, Can you imagine somebody that like tuned in for the very yeah. first time tonight, bought their first Sterling, and it happened to be the Torbion? I don't know if any you have first, set the bar. So I don't know. Up. I don't know if there's any first time. Sterling. I bet you at least one was a. They've never seen Sterling before ever, and they bought that one. Hey, it's Torbion, and they're gonna think all of your watches are that magnificent and that big of a deal, and you set the bar really high. Listen, folks, they don't only make Torbions. There's, that's a rare occasion. We have other stuff, though, like this mechanical automatic, the Prospero V91605. Uh, I give this the, uh, the gym seal of approval. I think this is one of the flat-out most awesome watches Sterling's ever made. Dress it up, dress it down, $116.15. Two minutes left around. on the once-only, Jeff. That's right. In Jeff. two minutes, the once-only ends. It goes away. The lowest price ever that will never go lower. Yeah. You got to be on the phone right now, though. Just pick it up and dial. Buy now, think later. That's the mentality. I'm going to go. I'm out of here. I'm actually going to take a day off, believe it or not. I might even take two. Although I'm going to get a heck of a workout during those two days off. Thank you to my friend Larry. Hey, thanks, Jim. Always and I'll be you. back in two hours with Sean Wilsey. He's two hours away, man. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Right now, though, learn how to take care of your skin the right way with Melissa Miner. And I believe Dimitri is here, right? Dimitri is here. There thanks, guys. Have a great night. Yeah, All right, brand new day. We're going to kick off with skin.